Hey guys, obviously this is not me, but if you want to see how I transform my friend from this to this, keep watching. <laughs> Okay, so let me introduce myself. My name is Samia London, and I'm 18. I'm a college student, and I also do hair on the side. I do men and women's hair in the Albany and Brooklyn area of New York. Um, as you can see just now, I was just combing out her hair and detangling it before I actually started. I ended up doing the back off camera, so I'm going to show you guys the front two portion style. I detangled it first. And then I took my shining gem and put it around the perimeter of the section. These are box parts, by the way. And then I took my fine tooth comb and divided the section in half. I then took two strands of passion twist hair and put that in the center where I divided her hair in half. And then I took a rubber band to secure her hair, leaving the passion twist hair in the center. This ensures that the passion twist hair stays in place and that it won't slip out. I'll make sure to put everything I use in the description, including the hair and all the products that I use. placing the rubber band I make sure to gently pull her hair so that the hairstyle is flat and not lumpy. I then take a strand of the pastress hair and wrap it around the root of her hair to hide the rubber band. After doing that, I combine her hair with the passion twist hair and twist all the way down. With this style, you want to make sure that you twist tightly all the way down. Brian <laughs> This is optional, but for the look we were going for, we made sure to add a rubber band at the end. And once you let it go, it springs back up and it becomes thicker. I'm gonna show you guys how I do it one more time, but this time I won't be speaking and I'll just let you guys watch for yourself.
ended up doing her edges off camera and this is the finished look. We also tried a different style that you'll see in a second. Before you go, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Follow my hair page at LooksByLondon underscore and my personal page at Smia.London. And I think that's it. I also have a new method as to how I do this style. So if you guys want me to update you guys and show you the other methods, please let me know in the comments. And that's it.